Conine hydrobromide is an antispasmodic drug based on the toxic principle of the poison hemlock, a substance used by Socrates to commit suicide. It contains carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and bromine. A 31.1526 gram sample was burned, producing 52.6903 grams of carbon dioxide, 24.2766 grams of water, and 0.07484 moles of nitrogen. If its molecular weight is 208.15 grams per mole, what is the formula of conine hydrobromide? So to set this problem up, we first begin by, uh, we put X, Y, and Z for the um, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, because we don't know what the uh, coefficients are, how many of these atoms are in each molecule. There's also bromine, I didn't put a letter on that one because we'll see, we'll see later on why. Um, Oxygen is necessary for the combustion reaction, and when you burn something, we produce carbon dioxide and water. The nitrogen gas, we've been told, is simply collected at the end, whatever's left over. We haven't said anything about bromine yet. So in the first step, we use the mass of gar uh, carbon dioxide produced divided by the molar mass of carbon dioxide to tell us how many moles of carbon dioxide are produced. The moles of carbon dioxide produced is exactly the same as the moles of carbon present because each mole of carbon dioxide contains one mole of carbon. Then we multiply by the molar mass of carbon to obtain the number of grams of carbon in the original molecule. So we find out that there are 14.38 grams in this original uh, 31.1526 gram sample. Same idea for water, 24 grams of water are produced, the molar mass of water is 18, that gives us 1.34 moles of water. Now we've multiplied by 2 moles of hydrogen for every 1 mole of water, because the stoichiometry of hydrogen to H2O is 2 to 1. So there are 2.695 moles of hydrogen in that sample, which translates to 2.7165 grams of hydrogen. We're then simply told that there are 0 0.07484 moles of nitrogen in the sample left over. Multiply that by the molar mass of nitrogen. Remember, nitrogen is a diatomic gas. So there are 2.0965 grams of nitrogen. Now what we do is we take these three quantities, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen, add them together to get this number. And we subtract it from the original amount, the original weight of the sample. Why do we do that? Because the difference uh, between these two numbers gives us the amount of bromine that was present in the sample. Armed with these four numbers, we now calculate the percent composition of the molecule. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, bromine. Notice how we divide by the molar mass of, uh, not the molar mass, but the, the mass of sample that was burned each time. We multiply by 100 and we obtain a percentage for each of these substances. Then what I did is I assumed a 100 gram sample to turn percents into gram amounts and we divided by the molar mass of each one of the uh, elements to obtain a ratio. Now it wasn't based on integer values so we divided by the lowest number in that ratio to obtain uh, an integer value and that is what we call the empirical formula. The empirical formula then is C8, H18, NBR. When we add up all these uh, numbers to give the molar mass, we find out that the empirical formula weight is the same as the, as the molecular mass. So the molecular formula is the same as the empirical formula in this case. So conine hydrobromide has the formula C8H18NBR.